everyone! Well, it's finished. Um, the Rita blouse is done, finally. It's taken a while, I had to buy extra bits of equipment, uh, there's been a saga, but it is done. I am wearing it with my high-waisted full circle skirt in orange that you can't really see in this frame. Uh, it was a complete pain to sew, as predicted, because this fabric is evil from that perspective, just slides all over the place. This is a satin-backed uh, crepe silk, so, <laughs> I mean, what was I thinking? But uh, it's really lovely. So yeah, here it is, and this is the back, which I really love with this sort of crinkle effect around the back of it. I have been wearing it just off the shoulder here, which I really like. I think it's a really lovely uh, neckline on me. You can, of course, pull the sleeves right down and go full, sort of, full-on, peasant styley right off the shoulder, um, which obviously is also great. I don't think I'm going to wear it as much like this, it just feels a bit, it's not really my, not really my thing. And of course then you can pull it right up to be more of a sort of on the shoulder and then if you had a bra with straps you could cover the straps, which is perfect. The elastic threading was a little bit of an issue, it just kept going wrong and eventually I bought a bodkin. Now there's a thing I didn't know existed, marvellous, uh, which is a special machine for, not machine, a special gadget for posting long bits of elastic and drawstrings through fabric. I've always used a safety pin, but the safety pin I had was old and kept coming undone and I couldn't find another one and it was just annoying. But as I was pulling the elastic out um, in order to re-thread it because I, it got twisted, it snapped. I pulled quite hard, let's be honest. I wasn't I wasn't being patient about it. And then I thought, well I'll just I'll I'll just see what it looks like with the length of elastic I'm left with rather than having to cut a new piece. Because it was it was definitely too big from the measurements that she gave in the pattern. So this is now a lot smaller. I think it's slightly too small now, but it's fine. It's a little bit I can feel it slightly a bit snug on my shoulders. But I got away with a lot less than was in the fabric in the pattern and I cut the elastic for the arms a little bit smaller than she suggested too for the same reason. I thought, well, if the neck's gonna be too small then maybe, uh, too big, maybe the sleeves will be. So this is a slightly snugger, more ruched look than perhaps the intention was. Sorry, Gertie. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And I think next time I make one, and I will make another one, I will make it in a cotton lawn or something very easy to sew, uh, but also that I can wear every day because um, I have quite a lot of things that have this waistline, sort of a high waistline, and I think it just suits those really nicely because it's so slim fitting through the body. Um, it's it's a really nice option for wearing something woven, but with, um, with a high waisted finish. So there we go. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your sewing and I will see you all again very soon.